I recently saw a article tutorial by Spoon Graphics where they sort of showed you how to and use a template for a Facebook banner. Now that was mainly for a group banner, not a personal banner. Now this is my Facebook page here and as you can see with the personal one you have the main image size and then you have this smaller picture which is sort of goes over the top of this left hand corner here you do also have a couple of other areas where parts of the image will be blocked out and even this little camera symbol that's up here whereas a group page if I go to the um, fans of serif software page you just get one big area that you can use and the actual name of the group is up here so the spoon graphics tutorial is more for the group page so if you've got a business or, or what have you um, so I thought I'd look at making a template for a personal page now one thing I do need to point out is this really only really works best on computers like you know, PCs, Macs and what have you because if I come to this is the image that I sort of uploaded and used as my banner that you've just seen but if I look at the image on my mobile it all gets cut off down the sides and the profile picture gets moved from over here to over there in the middle so it doesn't really transfer as well onto mobile or phones devices anyway I don't know about iPads and other pads um, so this template will not be perfect for mobile devices but it will work on PCs and Macs and what have you so I just want you to bear that in mind if you're going to use this that if you are going to want a lot of it to look good on a phone you will probably need to concentrate your image that you want here in the middle and be aware that the profile picture will be also shoved into the middle rather than on the left hand side like it is here so this is the template which I'm going to be uploading to Dropbox so you can download it and I will add a link in the description for this video now at the moment you can see it's got all of the layers are turned on and I'm going well first thing you, I'm going to do is I'm going to turn all of the layers off apart from the bottom one and this is like the size of the image so if you just want a single image that you want to fit in you could just delete all these or just turn off these layers and place your image here and get it into that whole area now you can do that in a number of ways uh, two, two ways really you could cut and paste an image in and resize it to fit this or you can cut, a paste, cut and paste the image in as a new layer and drag that layer into this layer and then resize it once it's inside that area um, I'll show that, that what I mean by that a bit later on because um, in that way you know it will fit exactly you, you not have to sort of tweak with the, the sizes <coughs> but this I, f I have found that this part of these edges do get slightly missed um, you know because this is this outside edge here 
you know, I'm missing a little bit at the top there and the bottom area they've sort of put a gradient so it's a bit darker down the bottom so in my template I've put this purple box now you don't have to keep the colors I just did that so so you could see the different areas so this would be where I would personally put um, my main image not necessarily on the background um, so if I just if I get this picture here which I've got here if I just copy that and make sure that that layer is highlighted and then edit and paste now, it's obviously this image is too small for this particular layer, but I'm just going to show you as an example. I could resize this and try and get it to fit into this area, or I could just click and drag this down and make it part of this layer. So when I resize it now, it will always stay within the bounds of that box and I can just move it to something like that so it's far I find it far easier to make it part of the layer um, and then it will always stay within the bounds of that box if you hopefully you understand what I mean um, I'm going to delete that because I don't necessarily want that at the moment, so I'll delete that out of there. So that's what I would do. If you just want a single picture, I would put it into the pink area. But you do have to remember that this blue square here is where your profile picture is going to go. Um, this bit here. So what I've done is I've made a little text reminder to go here the profile image goes here so don't use this area but you do need to make sure you hide this layer before you export it because I made that mistake first of all forgetting that when people just look at this image they will see the text because obviously they don't see the profile picture so hide that before you export it as a JPEG Again, if you don't like the blue background behind your profile picture, you can change the color if you want to. So this next one, if I highlight this one, is the area above the profile picture. And also, you do, like I said, you have to be aware that you will lose part of the picture but by that little camera icon up there. So let me... Just which one should we go? I'll go with this one here. So I'm going to copy that and make sure it is that particular layer that I want to insert this into. And I'm going to paste that and then I'm going to click and drag that down and into that layer. And then it's just a case of resizing it. So I'll hold down the control key to resize. And then just tinker with the size. Go, that will do position wise. So I have a an image there. So these next two If I turn this one on, there's two separate ones, but they're sort of about the same size. Um, you could just have a single image here and part of a main image that you may have had on this side, or it's probably better to actually use both and have two separate images. So if I go with the this one, and I'm going to put it into this orange box so that's there so I paste that drag that down into the 
orange layer and then I can put that about there and then last of all is this one which I used earlier but I will copy that and then paste that in Helps I paste and then click and drag that into the green box move this over and and this last layer is I just call it dividers I'll just highlight that and that will give me the white lines going down and separating these images better to make it look like it's all part of the background so you know that is how you can use that um, and then you just need to export this with whatever images you've inserted as a JPEG and then you can upload it as your new personal banner whether you use one picture two pictures three pictures whatever um, the choice is yours depending on how you use these I mean you could if you wanted insert your own sort of divider and your own sort of extra panels and have like a landscape image up here and a landscape image down there but you do have like the basics of the template here that you can tinker with so that is the sort of personal banner dealt with and this I've done this in Affinity Photo but I've saved the file and you can open it in Affinity Designer so if I open Designer and come to open and should open this okay as you can see it opens it in Affinity Designer just as easily so you could put in your drawings if you don't want to use photographs and things like that so it will work in both Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo now before I move on and finish this I just if I go back to my home page here um, if you do want to do a group banner um, I've made this sort of it's not a, I'll probably end up deleting this page I wouldn't necessarily look at start looking for this but I made up this mock one here and I started from this website here and I will add a link to this um, it's by Louise Myers where she has supplied a template for this if you scroll down you have got a, another image down here and you just need to right click the image and download and save image as and it will give you this file here um, so if I come back to let's, let's do this one in designer let me close that down um, One. yes that's the one so that is the file that you would get um, so what I've done see if I can find this now um, yeah this is it so I'll turn off the image and all the arrows Now let's turn the opacity up on this one and I'll then hide that and hide that. So that is the image that you can get from this website and as you can see this bit in the middle is what is visible from a desktop computer but from the mobile you get a bit extra top and bottom. 
So I, this is what I was testing, whether the, how well this works. So what I did was I drew this white box on the area that it says is okay for computers. And I just toned down the opacity just so I'll be able to see where I was placing items. So I then added a sort of an, an image that I had and I placed it in here so that the Superman image was okay and inside the PC area but the Batman image you would miss his head you know lose part of his head on the computer but it should be okay on a mobile phone and then I sort of then I just added the arrows so that was the width for a PC and that was the width for the mobile phone and then just a little bit of text thrown in for good measure so looking at the PC page as you can see the Superman image is okay the text is okay the small arrow is okay but you're losing the top of Batman's head and the bigger arrow so in that respect that um, template that you can download is correct and then I've taken a quick image of my phone it's not not necessarily that well in focus but as you can see on my phone you could see all of the Batman image you can pretty much see all of the bigger arrow and it does fit better um, on the mobile you can see more of the image so this template is pretty much correct if you're going to make your own templates uh, for a group rather than a personal one so as long as you keep the main area here for whatever it is the, the main topic of your image um, your site but remembering that on a mobile there's going to be a bit extra at the top and the bottom so you may want to add something extra for those areas but it not, won't necessarily be that important because it won't be seen by a majority of people which who are probably using computers rather than mobiles but like I said I will add a download link for this page so you can get this template and make your own group ones and hopefully you can then use my template that you can download from Dropbox to alter your own personal home page so thank you for watching and goodbye.